will, you know, inform the person that's found it how to contact you. And he sent them the passcode to open his phone. Well, you know what happened, right? But when he looked at the link, right, when he went to that link to share that passcode, it was so close to the right thing. But instead of saying at iCloud.com, it said T dash iCloud.com. It was a different website, right? It looked like Apple. Everything else looked legitimate. Now, he got the email that told him one thing. He got a text message that told him something similar. But this was a very sophisticated phishing attempt. Of course, he has now lost that phone. This is not an old person. This is a young person. So they they use this emotional language in the hopes that we won't be paying attention. Right. So we don't need to be experts. But let's not be dumb. Be very, very careful. Um, I'm very curious to see if anyone's got any. I will look uh, at the chat in the future. Right now, we've got some interesting ones. Um, every day, someone says every day. Um, Someone's looking for money, right? Uh, you got to pay or you're going to lose all your photos. That happens. Um, another person says uh, that you had a, a Geek Squad invoice due, right? These are things that happen. And it's not, you're, you, we're not personally making a mistake if we receive a phishing email. That's just something that happens. But we have to resist that curiosity, right? If it seems, Shady, it is shady, right? Well, you don't have to wonder, it is. Let's just hit on a couple safety rules before we wrap up for today. Uh, first of all, never click a link in an email that you were not expecting. It's just a simple rule. Don't click the link. If you're on your computer, you can hover over the link and it will pop up the actual address uh, that that link goes to. You can confirm, right? You can also, as we said, double check the sender's email address, right? It's just like checking that return address on an email. Read it carefully. And if you hover over it, if you're on a computer or you tap on it, if you're on an email, not the email itself, but the name of the user, it will show you their email address. Double check it. Make sure that it's from a legitimate company. Also, you want to use strong passwords. Don't use things like your birthday or your anniversary date, because these things are very easy to find online because they're registered with the government. 